Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. And welcome to the channel if you are new. Hi, everyone. It is me, Dan. Um, and I wanted to jump on to swatch something that I have just bought um, and to give them a little um, test run. Now, I've not been sent these. I have bought them myself. These are the... 48, I believe, yeah, I think it's 48 pastel or who who markers. Now, I've bought these, I've wanted them for absolutely ages because I love a pastel marker as a base, especially for things like her. Um, it's up like really good for your light tone if you're doing like an outfit or like a, a garment of some kind. Um, and I just find that sometimes I can't find a light enough colour to use as a base. Um, and I've, I've had my eye on these for quite a while. Now, I do have, and I use them all the time, I absolutely love them, this set of 48. And I do use these um, all the time. I actually think I will probably eventually get a bigger set because I do love the Ohu Hu. So anyway, I thought I would just treat myself um, and get the pastels. So I'm going to just use the little swatch cards that come with um, the markers. I'm going to zoom us in. Now, I'm not going to lie, I have done one already because I just wanted to have a go and it was the um, lemon chiffon and I'm just going to try and find it. It's here. So you've probably seen these markers before. Um, they're nice and I like the size of these markers. They're comfortable to hold as a broad end and a brush tip. So it has like the chisel tip. Um, That allows you to just get a nice flat colour down. So I tend to use these if I'm doing a big area. Um, and I do use them kind of in a squiggly, um, scumbling motion like that. Just to lay a flat colour down. And then the brushes. I love these brush tips. Um, you can go like quite thick with them. You can go quite thin with them. That I love them for doing her because you can start and flick it down and that's that's tends to, to be how I use them. Um, so I've already done the lemon chiffon. So I'm going to take them out as I go. The next one is buttercup yellow. Um, and in fact I could use the broad tip I think it's just quicker. And these are on like a nice little card cardstock um, so that's quite an orangey one I like it sometimes the oranges can be very very orange deep cream it's be interesting to see like how oh that's quite nice I didn't expect that to be that it's a bit at the minute obviously they're going to dry lighter but it looks a little bit artichokey um almost like a ginger poly uh, prisma uh carmine red i'm probably better looking for the numbers because oh so that looks quite orange oh that's really nice that's like a really orangey pink <clears throat> i like that one and then we go to a light orange. But yeah, so that's oh, that's very, very nearly like a neon. It looks darker on um, camera than it does in real life. It's almost got a, a neon hint to it. Um, but nice, like a very different shade. This is Mellow Peach. Again, a little bit neony, but it would be lovely with a darker colour on top. That's what I'll be, I will be using these for. They're definitely going to be base, like base coloured, and then I'll work over the top. So that was cream. So obviously, as I go on, it's going to get, they're going to dry lighter and lighter. Pale cherry, this 
sounds lovely pale cherry pink even which is this it's almost a blossom um oh Oh, that is nice. That is a lovely actual skin tone, to be honest. If it dries a little bit lighter, that's lovely. It looks more of a skin tone on screen, it, but it's a pinky skin tone um, in real life. Very nice. Sometimes I feel like I can't get, I get a bit stuck with my um, skin tones and I tend to use the same ones over and over again. So this should be quite good. This is sad, Sardonyx. That's a nice, similar in real life, but lighter. Um, I like it. Light prawn. Um, oh wow, that looks really, doesn't that look really neon? Oh, that's a lovely color. It is very bright. It's brighter in real life than it is on screen. But lovely, like an unusual pink. I really, really like it. This one sounds absolutely gorgeous. Antique fuchsia. <clears throat> oh, this looks like it's my type of colour. Yep, that is gorgeous. Um, There's a colour. It's possibly a Spectrum Noir. Maybe. I might be wrong here. Vintage something. And I love this like muted gr um, grey lilac. It's one of my favourite colours to use and I do gravitate towards that. So that's possibly going to become a very, very favourite colour. Light hot pink. Cute. Nice bright but again these are pastels so they're going to be quite some are going to be brighter than others some are going to be more muted than others and it is good to get a good mix in there this one sounds lovely it's called thistle and i thought when i've swatched them i'm going to I will base some hair, I think, and maybe even start to work over the top. We'll see. Hollyhock, this sounds lovely. Um, another thing, I should really just look at the numbers, but I'm looking for the names and I have no idea what, um, what I'm looking for. That is gorge. That's like a really... I know it doesn't look it on camera, but it's got a little bit of a brighter pinkness to it, but it's like a rich... Plum pink, almost. The pinks are there. The actually liking them all, to be honest. Like really, really liking them all. This is lovely. This deep cream, not what I was expecting at all. Pink, and that pale cherry pink. Now that it's dried, is a beautiful skin tone. That really, that's lovely. That pink, and then we've got light pink. Like that. It's a bit more neony. Um, pale lilac. I love a lilac. Lavender. I do love a purple. That's gorgeous. Love. Mauve. I love that. I'm loving these all actually really really loving them viola this looks nice oh that's really purple now i do think like so and i haven't done it with them all but i do think swatching out your markers is really good because they do dry paler um even in terms of oh that's absolutely lovely blue like if I was to just, if I was colouring and I thought, I know, I'll just quickly swatch it out. That will dry paler as the day goes on. It might be, not be the colour that you're looking for. So it, I do, I, and I should do it myself with all my my others, but I haven't. Um, 
he swatched them out of one, he swatched the other, or who who's and I've got a few um pro markers, but I've not done them all. That one is lovely, that is Robin's Egg Blue. Pale blue. Lovely, lovely. Oh, this looks good. I do like a blue hair, so let's see if I can get a really nice blue undertone. Pale greyish blue. You like that? Would I would definitely use that. That's lovely. I mean, I'll use them all, but I'm, I've got like an idea in my head of kind of what I want. Blend beautifully, probably. So that's the first 24 done, is it? Yeah. And I really, really like them. So, let's move on to these. Lavender Mist sounds beautiful. Taylor Swift song, nearly. Which I love. I love that colour. Again, it will dry lighter. Pale Lemon Yellow. Really nice yellow, actually. Yellowish green. Oh, that's really nice. Really nice. That's almost like, I don't know if it's going to sort of show it truly on camera. It's probably a bit better. A mint green. I love it. Harsh radish. Oh, and that is again a lovely green. Again, blend beautifully. Lime green, this looks an interesting one. Oh, I love that. That is like a really unusual green. I'm going to bring it up so you can see. And obviously it will get lighter, but isn't that an unusual green? And it reminds me a little bit of, um, in the chroma floor, there's a green like this and I love it. I can't think off the top of my head what it's called. Horizon green. Oh, that is a beautiful colour. Let me, sit, let me try and show you. Look at that. Yeah. If you've seen my latest completed pages video when I did the Taurus Girl, this Horizon Green is literally my favourite colour. And I did a her in pencil. Like that. Green Shadow. Again, absolutely gorgeous green. Oh, I'm loving these. Lipstick Natural. Now, I do always want a good colour for lip. Oh, that was not what I was expecting. Now it's going to dry later, but I wasn't expecting like a brown. Love it. I love that when you're not expecting it. It's completely different. Now these could be quite good skin tones. Like that's a lovely colour. Like a, like a sienna. Brick beige, that just sounds beautiful. I am loving these. I'm so, so glad. You know when you think, do I really need any markers? I mean, that's like saying, do I really need any pencils? The answer to that question is absolutely not. However, yes, I do. Sand and then sand white. Gorgeous. Love that, actually. I'm piling all these pen pens next to me because I don't want to put them back in the bag. Ash Rose. I already love the name of this colour. However, there it is. 
I was like, oh no, please don't be missing. Yeah, that's a gorgeous colour as well. Quite dry and quite light as well, so that's quite interesting. Tea rose, it sounds like beautiful. Oh wow, that's a really kind of neon y, blossomy pink. That's lovely, love that. Um, moving into the greys now, so we've got a neutral grey which is CG02. Oh, CG. Oh, neutral grey too, that's why. That's a lovely, a lovely grey. I know that's a random thing to say, but as if you were doing a grey hair, that's really good for a base. Because sometimes they're just a bit too dark. Um, and then you just end up with a really flat colour. Cool grey 5, there it is. Love that when that happens. Again, lovely. Really nice, I think, together. Warm grey five. I've just noticed I'm a little bit excited for what I've just seen. We've got yellow, green, red, green. Um, sorry, yellow, grey, red, grey, blue, grey, and green, grey. These look good. Yellow, grey, four. Oh, I love that. Red, grey, three. Red, grey, 11. That, I love that. Instantly love that. Gorgeous. Um, a red, grey, 12. Yep, I love that one. Beautiful. Blue, grey, I can tell this is this one because it had the, the colour cap is blue. Oh, that's really nice as well. And then I'm excited about this one, green, grey. Oh, that's gorgeous as well. That I'm really, really happy that these are like... That is clearly green, but it's a grey. That is blue. There's red. There's red. They've got red tones in them. That is clearly very yellow. So, as a, a palette, I actually love. Love, love, love. Some are a little bit darker than I was anticipating because you do think pastel, very, very light. I have used the chisel end. Not the brush end, so the brush end will make it lighter. But I love them. So, what I'm going to do is put them all back in. And I have a new book beside me. And um, that was sent to me by one of my colouring besties, Sam. So Sam sent me an early birthday present. Um, and I've, I've, I think I have a page in mind. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. I'm going to zoom us out because we don't need um, to see. But we have, I'm sorry about the glow. We have Christine Karen's Fairy and Fantasy 4. It is the grayscale book. Um, and I thought that this would be actually perfect to do, to just test them out. Um, and I'm just going to see if anything
Now that has just caught my eye. And now, I'll be honest, it looks like she's wearing like a chiffony fabric that's see-through. I don't know how I would colour that. No, let's absolutely do this. It is May. It is mermaid. I fancy doing a mermaid. I'm sure everybody else fancies a little bit of mermaid action. So let's put these pieces of paper behind here. Um, now I want to stick past these. I definitely want to stick past these. I think we will actually base her skin in eggshell white. No, actually, we're going to do a hair. And we're going to do her hair in... I'm going to use that blue grey, I think, for that antique, mm, thistle maybe, yeah, I'm going to go for thistle, now this is completely off the cuff, there's not going to be much thought going into it, I'm not going to do the whole page, I'm just going to do a bit of a base, just so I can get a feel for them, see what I think, um, I am using the brush tip. I'm going to bring you in ever so slightly. There is a little bit of detail going in here. Um, so I'll see what pencils we've got on and we might do a little bit of pencil work too. So it always feels weird when you're working on tiny little details and you're not sat over the page. I'm sat quite far back, but that's where a brush tip does come in handy and to be honest the alcohol ink does spread so you don't need to be super duper accurate um i do do really like the ohuhu brush tip it's not too um flimsy but it does have a little bit of give in it. Um, so you can still do like really tiny areas. As I am doing now. Um, I'm going to start with these. Tiny little pieces. In her hair. Um, I think I've got some, I think my square brutes are up here somewhere. They might be quite good to work on. I'm just trying to work out. No, it's definitely a hair, isn't it? I was trying to wonder what these, um, like, shells are, but it's just the top of, like, the, I don't know what it is. In a, in a hair, but it. This actually is a stunning page and I was thinking I'm, I need to do a mermaid. I don't know if I did any last year. Maybe I did. Um, and I suppose pastel actually goes pretty well, doesn't it? With so I'm just going to move you around a little bit. So I do like a brush tip for doing some hair because you get some different tones naturally where the ink overlaps. Um, there's darker bits, there's lighter bits. And I do feel like it just gives it a bit of life and then I do work over the top um in pencil anyway but that pink I'm gonna bring you up a little bit it's absolutely lovely like I really really like it so I'm probably not gonna do it all um I think we'll have a colour and chat tomorrow. I 
And I think we'll carry on working on this because I am dying to sit down, colour and chat with you. Not sure what this is. Some kind of shell, so we won't colour that pink. I'm really, really into Christine Karen at the minute. I have just ordered Flower Fork before the Butch Pository closed, so I'm not sure when it's going to arrive. It is coming from Australia, which is... I don't know, I just wasn't expecting that, I don't think. Did get an email beginning of the week. Um, saying that Royal Mail are expecting it, so we shall see. This pink though is really nice. So I might just do one half of the hair. Um, and maybe base her skin. I am excited for Flower Fork. I'm excited for decent paper. I'm really sorry. I just... I do buy quite a lot of Amazon books. I just hate the paper at times. But single-sized ones I do quite like because it means I can do things like this, which I, I can't necessarily do in other books. But I have to say, and I said it at the beginning, these pens, for the, like, the size of them, I find them really comfortable to work with. I love that they come in a little bag. I got them on Amazon. I've already, I have mentioned it, but I'll say it again. These weren't sent to me. This is not an ad. This is me. Treating myself to some supplies that I've wanted for quite a while um, and giving them a whirl. So that is drying much, much lighter now. If you look at the top, it looks really, really nice. So I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to remember that I've used this on a hearse. I'm going to leave it out. I'm just going to have a quick drink and then we're going to base. her skin in that lovely eggshell white colour which was E0909 um now I also want to add some pink and hopefully i will not mess this up i have i'm, just, I'm not going to do it all i'm just going to do a little bit so we can see what it looks like because i think this is a different type of skin tone for me i wouldn't necessarily use this so i'm interested just in kind of how it's going to look really And in fact, because I'm doing the skin, I'm going to swap to the chisel. Because I do like, and I'm going to go over the lips because this is something Emma, Emma Colourist State, one of my other colouring besties, she was telling me ages ago that she'd seen something. It's like one of them, isn't it? She said, he said, and they said, but she said that she'd seen something in a video and this person, whoever it was, 
um, had said that they colour the lips in skin tone and then obviously colour whatever lipstick or like lip colour over the skin tone and the same with like the eyes so I would normally colour around where I was going to put some um, like eyeshadow or lipstick um, but then really your lips aren't and your eyes they're not white are they or do you know what I mean they, they have a skin tone so I thought I'm going to do that so I now do always always colour over the lips in skin tone um, and then colour over the top so I'm going to use this pink now just to tackle these darker areas this is where a brush pen I find works really well because because you are using the brush pen and you're flicking the strokes the brush pen brings itself off so it doesn't actually I mean that one has because I've not really done it that great but I'm gonna fix that in a minute it doesn't leave you with this like sort of stark And then I'm going to do the lips actually in the same colour. And obviously, if you go over again and again and again and again, they're going to get pinker and pinker and pinker. So I'm going to let that dry and see what that looks like. I'm actually really, really liking. I could, I, I could make this a little bit pinker here. And just that bit there, this is where a brush pen is comes into its own. Just go over the top a little bit. I just start then. I think I'm going to let that dry and see what it looks like because this is where I always go too much and then I'm like, oh, ruined it. I have ruined it. That skin tone, I'm going to bring it up so you can see. Now, obviously, you can see the, the tooth of the paper and stuff, but... As a skin tone, that's not one I would normally go for, and it's stunning. Possibly new fave. So we'll do a shoulder. And I think we'll stick with this um, pink. So her hair's going to be pink, and we've kind of got this pink um, rosy glow on her cheeks. I'm going to be honest, was never really a fan of grayscale, but do you know what now? I absolutely love it. I really do. And I'm going to keep that pink as like my shadow colour. So everywhere she's going to have a bit of a shadow, she's going to have a little bit of pink. This is a gorgeous image.
and I do have to say I'm not really like a I wouldn't typically go pink on a pink. I don't know why but definitely not for shadowing but this is giving like a, a really nice warmth um a really nice warmth to her skin. It's lovely. You can just, I love that. But this is going to look absolutely gorgeous. So, I'm going to carry on with this, I think, in a colour and chat because she's going to turn out stunning. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to show you this one more time because look at those absolute beauties. I'm definitely going to get some more hoo-hoos. I just need to work out what, what sets. But um, I love them. They're a quality marker, I think. That lay down is beautiful. It's not so streaky. And this is not the best paper. I've used the brush pen. I've used the chisel tip. Um, both lay down great. I've just put that skin top back away. Um... It was eggshell white, wasn't it? <clears throat> um, but really, really like them. I find them easy to work with. They're not necessarily streaky. And these pastels that are going to add to my other 40 set are just perfect. I just wish I knew where my other swatch was. But like now that they're dried, this um, horizon green is absolutely stunning. Yellowish green, beautiful green shadow, I think is going to be the colour of her tail. Um, because that is beautiful. But I just really, really like them. And I'm so, so happy that I bought them because she is looking stunning. Her eyes are going to be the same colour as her tail. But we will do that and talk more in depth about what's been going on, what I've been up to, what I've been buying. Um, in the next video, because I will sit down, get a colour and chat done and work on this for Mermaid. I just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope, let me know. Do you like these markers? Do you have these markers? Are you going to get them? Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Please leave me a comment and don't forget to hit that thumbs up. All that's left to say is happy colouring and adios.